Hallelujah. 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 In every situation. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory to my God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory to my God. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Glory, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. My sisters, and I'm happy that you are here. Both on the prayer line, on Facebook. I'm glad that you are here. Yes, I'm waving back at you too. We're ready to pray for our children again tonight. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to Jesus. Glory, glory, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. I just bring that sound of hallelujah tonight. Um, it doesn't matter what we have been through. It doesn't matter what we are going through. The truth of the matter is everybody goes through something. It's either you are going through something right now, or you have just come through something, or you are about getting into something. But the good news is that in every situation, is hallelujah. We will praise the Lord God, our maker, our lover, our helper, our shield, our hope in times past, our help in times past, and our hope for time to come. Because what? It does not change. And the good news is that it changes things. Hallelujah. So we are helped. We are so helped. We are so advantaged in every area. And that's why we can still, you know, smile. We can still pray. We can still preach. We still do good to all men. Because we know that we are answerable to God. You will agree with me that as parents, at times you are like, oh please, this child, just let me be. I have enough things of my own. <laughs> but they are, they are our children and we have to take care of them. Even when they are married, we still have to pay oversight function, you know, over their lives one way or the other in prayers, in counseling when they ask for it. And even when they don't ask for it stylishly, we give the counsel as the Lord directs us. So parenting is a big job. And, you know, it's, it's a job that you never retire from. And with all that we also have to deal with, um, we need grace. And that's why I'm praying tonight for every one of us that the Lord God will give us fresh grace to carry on. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the grace to be the best mother that we have to be, the grace to be the best father that we have to be, the Lord releases upon us afresh tonight, and we receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Yes, taking us straight to the prayer focus for tonight, what the Lord laid in my heart is that we must um, learn to correct our children in love. We must prayerfully see how to handle these children when they do wrong. Remember what we just discussed now. As parents, we have enough things to deal with. Then the children now come and they are doing their own, like, oh, please, please, you know. But then, um, we have a job right here. And that's why I say marriage is not just for boys and girls. It's for men and women. Not to talk of parenting. Parenting is a big deal. Parenting is a big deal. Virtually anybody could impregnate anybody. But it's not anyone that could be a father. And it's not just anybody that could be a mother. As in be a mother. But the Lord is going to help us. In um, channeling these, these children are right handling them when we need to handle them 
and the way to handle them for time. The Lord will have me tell us, parents, that, that when correction is not done appropriately, it will be counterproductive. And there is no one that appreciates counterproductivity. It drives one nuts. It drives one crazy. But when God helps us, then we are going to be able to correct them and correct them aright. The Lord said to tell you that this wrestling, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Most of the time when our children misbehave, it's not um, physical. At times it's physical and they just need to be put you know, in order. At times we have to use the cane. I don't spare the rod when I have to. <laughs> when I have to use this, the Bible says, spare the rod and spoil the child. But I want us to see the bigger picture. You know, that even when you are not sparing the rod and using the rod, you use it constructively. We need help. I grew up being abused. Everything, every little offense that I committed was visited with the rod. My dad did not spare me. There was a time that he actually used a, <laughs> a cutlass, you know, <laughs> the side of the cutlass. He just, you know, it's very, it's very strong, he just pulled me like this, threw me on the bed. <laughs> and he drew the cutlass and he used the side, you know, that side to... <clears throat> I don't even know what he was thinking. But as a child, I must have been about 10 years old, all I was thinking of was, let this man not cut me with this thing. So I stayed still. I submitted my back, you know, like Jesus did, the sheep before the share. I just submitted my back for the beating. I didn't turn. I didn't even move my hand, you know, as the thing was paining me, as the side of the, of the um, cutlass was touching me like that. I just stayed still and took it. Because I knew that if I just move, the thing would have caught me finish, you know. So when we even beat our children, when we use the rod, we must be careful not to just do it out of anger, you know, and out of the, the enormity of the offense as we might see it, you know. Um, the Lord is, help, is helping us. And we shall lead these children aright in the name of the Lord Jesus. So we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So we cannot, you know, um, counter or overcome the battle by physical means. It is not, uh, the weapon of our, of our warfare is not carnal. It's not um, anger. It's not beating. It's not punishment. It's not always, you know, withdrawing um, their, 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 um, you know, privileges. It's not always harsh. At times what you have to do is speak the word. At times what you have to do is rebuke that spirit. Remember what Jesus did to Peter? Peter, when Peter was saying to him, uh, no, God, be it far from you. you. You will not die. And all that. And Jesus said, get thee behind me, Satan. Get thee behind me, Satan. This was the same Peter that had just told Jesus that Jesus was the son of God. By revelation from God, the same Peter was now speaking by revelation from the devil. But Jesus was able to recognize it as a good father. And so instead of hating Peter or making Peter feel like he is, um, you know, is daft or something, he rebuked the spirit. I was speaking through him. So at times what we have to do as parents is to take charge of the issue spiritually. Yes. Otherwise, God forbid, we will just be helping the devil to fulfill his John 10.10 10 agenda. John 10.10, 10, the devil has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But thank God that Jesus has come, that we might have life and have it more abundantly. And that life that we have is that which we, we will now put in our children, is that which we will now use in relating with our children, is that which we will now impart to our children and lead them aright. So our correcting our children is not going to be in vain. It's not going to be counterproductive. 
because it's going to be done in love. It's going to be done as the Spirit of God leads us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So I know that as parents, we will be like, oh, what is happening to my children? How do I go about handling my children? How do I go about, you know, correcting them? How do I show them love appropriately and all that? Just settle down, as I, as I always say, on the settled word of God. God. Bible says be anxious for nothing. Parenting is top job. At times you're like, am I actually doing things right? You're like almost blaming yourself when some things happen or don't happen but what you must know is that you should be anxious for nothing but in everything through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving make your request known to god that is why we come together to pray for our children for our grandchildren our nephews our nieces anyone that god has brought you know into our lives that we are parenting we take this time to pray for them and I say to you, as you look at the bigger picture, it might be tough now, it might be so demanding now, but at the end of the day, as the Lord liveth, you will see the travail of your soul, and you will be glad in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glad to see you here, Pastor Mom. I'm happy you're here. Bless you, man. <laughs> Okay, glory to Jesus. So let's go ahead and begin to do this. And let me say this, especially for us praying parents. Um, maybe the heat is more on our children. Um, because you are a praying parent, because God has opened your eyes and you are doing so much, don't think that the devil will now fold his arms and just give your children right of way to fulfill their purpose. He's still going to challenge them. Is still going to challenge their destiny. Is still going to challenge them, you know, from fulfilling purpose. And so, when children exhibit certain um, undesirable characteristics, we must be careful not to just look at it, for, you know, on the peripheral. Don't just look at it on on the on the physical level. There's so much more. There is so much more. So tonight we are going to be praying for ourselves as parents. And then for our children. I also need you to know that the uh, Bible says to watch and pray. When things happen, don't just begin to pray. <laughs> you know, like someone was sharing with, me, with us at a meeting how that something happened. There was a challenge in the family. She just said, oh yeah, seven days prayer and fasting. And starting right away, you know, women, we are so strong, we are powerful. Thank God for us. And when we are determined to make our, our homes work and all that, we go all the way. But then the Holy Spirit told her, calm down. What are you going to fast about? The first thing to do is not even fasting and praying. So when things happen to us, when we find out certain things that are not so palatable to hear about our children, the first thing to do is not to just go and start praying. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, every contrary spirit, every foul spirit, that is the, that the, the first thing. Mm -hmm. praying parents the first thing to do is to watch watch and pray that is what the bible says there's a reason for asking us to watch watch he said i will stand on my guard and i will watch and i will hear what he will say unto me watch what is happening watch what do i do is this thing just physical is it spiritual watch with your spiritual eyes watch that is why as parents, like I say, parenting is not for children. If you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. As parents, you cannot afford to be of little strength. That's the way it is. This world is not fair. The whole world lies in wickedness. So we cannot rest on our oars. The Bible says, woe to him that is at ease in Zion. There's so much to do. So you watch. Don't panic. Don't be anxious. Watch. Then pray. Watch. You know, then do whatever you perceive needs to be done. If it is to use the cane, please, by all means, don't spare the rod. If it is to talk to the child, please sit down and talk to the child. Feed him or her with the word of God. If it is to pray for the child, pray. If it is to rebuke, rebuke any contrary spirit, go ahead and do that. But we must not be as one beating about the bush 
We can't be fighting as one that's been blindfolded. Our eyes are open in the name of Jesus. Watch. Then pray. It shall be well with our children in the name of the Lord Jesus. We will see the travail of our soul, I say again, and we will rejoice. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. So our first prayer point tonight is for ourselves. And we're going to be praying and receiving grace to parent our children, our grandchildren, great-grandchildren, our stepchildren, our nieces, our nephews, the children that we, we teach in church, those that we, you know, we teach in school, wherever we interface with children that God has put in our hands as parents. We are going to be asking for grace to be a godly parent. What do I mean by that? To be a parent like God. God hates sin, but he does not hate the sinner. God hates sin, but he does not hate the sinner. Being a parent like God is to be able to embrace your child, whoever a child is to you, even though there are some, some things you are able to separate, you know, frivolities from realities you're able to separate what this child is doing that is you know painful or that is not right from who this child is and be able to communicate the same to that child we're not going to be throwing the bath water away with the baby or the baby away with the bath water because he or she messed up so let us receive grace tonight as parents to be a parent like god to be a parent like god I always say to God, I love the way you father me. I didn't have uh, that that earthly, you know, experience, but I have had that that heavenly experience of who a father is. And don't get me wrong, I love my dad. We've made it up and we're good now. But what I'm saying is, I learned how to be fathered by God, and I always say to him, "You are the best father that anyone could ever have." And so let us receive grace to be such a parent, such a parent to our children, like God is our father, the way God fathers us. Lord, we receive grace as parents in the name of the Lord Jesus. To parent our children aright, to be godly parents in the name of the Lord Jesus, that no matter what they do, no matter how, how mad they drive us, that we will will be able to love them as you want us to love them that we will be able to correct them in love even when we need to correct them in the name of the Lord Jesus Lord we receive grace malem roso taka bazita ende lem roso taka lem roshidaria Lord give us grace oh God to understand how to parent after you after you oh God how to parent our children the way you want us to parent them oh God we receive the eyes of our understanding being enlightened oh God to be godly parents to our children in the name of the Lord Jesus there there is a way to reach every child. We receive inspiration. Lembrasita kaba zeke de brostaha. Malenken de brosonta gimba sita. As a parent, I receive inspiration in the name of Jesus. I receive inspiration in the name of the Lord Jesus to be able to parent my children aright. To be able to parent my grandchildren aright. To be able to parent my spiritual children aright. I receive inspiration from you. I said there's a spirit in man and the inspiration of the all. Almighty, give it them understanding. Lembrosto toko libra shida. There's a way to parent with ease. As a parent, there's a way to parent with 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 the result. We are asking oh God tonight, fresh grace upon us, fresh grace upon us to understand, to 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 know exactly how to parent these ones. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Many of us need to be healed. Many of us are actually in pains. And so to parent them aright is a struggle. But tonight, Lord, let there be a release of grace. A release of unction to function. In the name of the Lord Jesus. 
Oh Lord, for every parent that is hurting, Lord, we receive healing. We receive strength tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus. That we might be able to parent these ones aright for you to the honor and glory of your name. In Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We are also praying with a set of parents who are very anxious. Um, the Lord will have me lead that prayer. Many, uh, many let me say, well, maybe the, late, the very early years of parenting, I used to be a bit anxious. But when the Lord said to me, um, one, God told me that my children would not be a concern to me. So I held on to that word. And then God also said to me that, he asked me a question really. Because I used to fret over them a lot. And he asked me, he asked me a question. He said, when you are asleep, who watches over them? Because when I'm awake, I'm just checking on them. I'm just doing this. I'm just, it was becoming unbecoming. And the Lord helped me by asking me that question. When you sleep, mother hen, <laughs> when you sleep, who watches over them and even over you? So, for any parent or any great grandparent who who is very anxious, I know there is a le level of, of course, you have to be, you know, you have to be, you know, careful. You have to want to be with them, you want to have to want to know what's happening to them. But when it comes to the, when it gets to the level of anxiety, then it means that you your faith in God is shaken. God says we should be anxious for nothing. Anxiety has never even solved any problems anyway. So for you, anxious parent, I, I want to join my faith with you. And if you know any parent who is like that, very anxious, that they're always, they're almost like having high blood pressure. They're almost hypertensive because they worry most of the time unnecessarily about their children. Let's pray tonight. If you are the one, pray with me. If you know someone, please Stand in the gap for that person. Liberation comes in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you tonight because you are ministering to us as parents. For anyone who is living in anxiety over their children, Lord, I ask for liberation tonight. <laughs> By the word that you are sent, I speak healing, I speak liberation, I speak deliverance in the name of the Lord Jesus over that anxious parent. I speak deliverance now in the name of the Lord Jesus for you sent your word, O oh Lord, and you healed us and delivered us from our destruction. I take hold, I lay hold by faith on that word and I release it to the life of every anxious parent in the name of the Lord Jesus no more anxiety the peace of God that passes all understanding rests upon you right now and ends forth in the name of the Lord Jesus no more anxiety no more anxiety in the name of the Lord Jesus the peace of God rests the peace of God rests and abide upon you in Jesus precious name amen and amen hallelujah glory 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 to jesus glory to jesus now let's take it specifically for those who are on the prayer line and for those who will watch this later and pray along you know the children that you are praying for um and you know the issues that they have like i always tell us here that every child is an individual and that's why we take time to no more anxiety. Yes, Mui, no more anxiety in the name of the Lord Jesus. Um, so we're praying for every child. I'm going to mention them by name. There are certain things that you have, you have noticed in their lives. There are certain things that need to be handled. In this corporate anointing, the upper room as we pray tonight, I need you to mention their names and mention those things. And ask the Lord, is an, let me say this is, a, this is a period of watching. Lord, open my eyes to see what exactly I need to see concerning this matter. That's one part of the prayer. Then how do I address it? How do I address it? In the name of the Lord Jesus. Shall we ask the Lord? Father, thank you. 
I thank you for every child you have blessed us with, everyone praying as children, biological or otherwise, that we are praying for. Lord, let light shine now on every darkness. Let light shine now in the name of the Lord Jesus. As we pray right now, we receive illumination. Bible says that the light shines in darkness and darkness cannot comprehend it. Whatever every child that we are praying for is going through, we ask that you reveal unto us in the name of the Lord Jesus. And we ask, oh God, that you will reveal unto us the way out. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the young Lord, open our eyes, oh God, to see what is happening, what exactly is happening. We know we're not wrestling against flesh and blood. What exactly is happening? What is causing these matters? What is causing that struggle in that child? life. Lord, reveal to this parent, O oh God. Reveal to this woman, O oh God. Reveal to this man, O oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus and how to handle it, how to handle it, oh God. Yendem rozondo brosta hi kasete tete kem roso tumbra in da ye ketem brosta hi gazizim brosta malende de brosta ha gazeke tem brosta ende de brosto him ragaba jida da 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 kete lebia in da yangla rabasto him brosta hi kasita. Open our understanding, oh God, to see our nieces, our nephews, what exactly is the need, what exactly is the issue and how do we address it we receive understanding we receive understanding in this time of prayer we receive understanding in the name of the lord jesus thank you for revealing oh god just like jesus knew when when he had to rebuke the satan through peter lord let us know how to handle these matters in the name of the lord jesus oh that child that tells lies why is it the spirit of lying that is attacking that child? Or is it the character deficit? Or whatever it is, Lord, we ask. So that we will not just be like one, just, you know, beating about the bush. We are asking, oh God, effective parenting in the name of the Lord Jesus. Keteke prozuzushtaha gazetem broko sota kalimbra shidarabaha. We are ministers unto these children. Lord, lead us so that we can minister aright. Lead us, O God, so that we can minister aright and meet them at the point of need. Imbrosto kolimbra shde gembrosto hibra ziziba shida. We don't want to fail in this task of parenting these ones, O God. No child will leave our hands to hell. No child will leave our hands to hell. In the name of the Lord. Lord Jesus, Yembra Sita Karaba, Gende de Broso Tombro Shida, Katekeste Ke Prosta Hika Sita, Katim Prosto Tomproste, Pelimpra Sisi Zibroste, Imbra Gazete Kesta, Keteke Krosoto, Kragazeke Tendo Robrosta, Ende de Brozon de Rosto, Limbro Costel, Ende Brogo Zuzuste, He, Kazizim Brosto, Ketekembro, Gashinda Kasuta, Kalekete, Kezeze Brosto in Dorobo Sataha. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for helping us to parent them like you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you for revealing to us exactly what is happening and giving us understanding to know how to handle it. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, because I see walls. I just saw walls falling down. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory to Jesus. Oh, I see, I saw walls falling down. Thank you, Father. You are the one that was with the Israelites and the wall of Jericho, preventing them from entering into their inheritance. You made it to fall down because you gave them an instruction and they obeyed it. Lord, we thank you because we know the same thing happens to us because you give us instruction concerning all of our children. And as we obey this instruction in handing their lives every wall of jericho on their past they fall thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah oh 
from somebody is leaving this prayer room tonight to become the best parent ever. Because before you take any decision, you would have asked the Lord and what would have revealed to you. And so when you do that which you ought to do, then there will be results. Hallelujah. This reminds me of something that happened. This happened about um, 12 years ago. 12, 13 years ago. I was serving with the ministry in the children department. And um, the, the, the pastor's wife had a retreat for all of us where she was saying to us that even if you are ministering, you are, you, are, you are staying with children who are, because we had, I think it was from nine months, we had nine months to two years, then two to three, three to four, you know, like that, categories of the children, how they were classified, you know, in their classes. So she said, even if you are in age nine months to two years, there is a way that you can handle these children, and they will be orderly throughout the service. You know, as she said it, I was pondering over it. I was like, nine months old babies. How are we gonna, and they will be like maybe 50 or maybe 60. I'm like, oh, really? I was still pondering over. Then the woman sitting inside me was like, hmm. You know, she was like talking back, you know, side talk. And like, did you hear that? Is that possible? And I told her, I said, well, she, she's saying it. So that means it's possible. And she just looked at me like, what's she saying? And, but she left me alone because I knew that. There was something that she was saying that even though I didn't understand it then and I couldn't comprehend it, I was willing to know. I wanted to understand what she was saying. And this exactly is what the Lord is saying again tonight. Thank you, Lord. I didn't even link it when God gave me this message earlier. But now I can link it. There's no age that that child is. Whether it's nine months, three months, 30 years. There is no age that the child that God has given you reaches that you are not, you know, able to minister to that child. There is no age. There is no age. I know that as children grow to different levels, there will be different challenges, but <laughs> there has been proof. Hallelujah. There has been proof that indeed God is able to teach you to teach us exactly how to handle these children and have results. I think that should be one of our daily prayers. Lord, teach me to handle these children. Help me. Instruct me. He said you will hear a word behind you saying this is the way. Walk in it. Lord, how do I handle these children? Help me. Give me instruction. Give me direction. And you will see wonders. You will no longer labor and, you know, be worried and be sorrowful over your children in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's also pray now for the children. We love our children, right? Whether they are biological children or they are adopted or we are found to be caretakers or guardians over their lives at one point or the other. The, 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 the truth is that we love them. But you know one thing? Some things that we've done in the past or some things that we had said in the past, um, the devil also took advantage of those things and painted wrong pictures in the hearts of these children. And they just think they are loved less, or they are not really loved. We are going to be praying for every child who doubts the parental love that you are giving. We are asking that the Lord will minister unto these children by himself. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, we cleanse their hearts from every false information that has been stored there. Malembros to Kibra in Zateke Broshida Gabasataha. Every wrong seed that has been sown into the hearts of our children that make them to feel that they are not really loved, that make them to feel that they are not so loved, we uproot that seed now in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I want to challenge you from tonight to begin to sow the seeds, good seeds, new seeds into their heart. Tell them you love them. Hug them. Give them a peck. Send them messages. Talk to them. Show love to them. 
buy them things when you can say to them let them know that you love them let them know that you are their number one fan let them know that you are their cheerleader hallelujah even when they've been bad in fact especially when they've been bad because lord said if you do not correct these children in love your correction will be counterproductive but that will not be your portion in the name of jesus and that's why we are doing this and taking it step by step as the lord is leading us hallelujah hallelujah oh thank you lord jesus for helping us to love and show love to our children especially when they are not doing the things that we expect them to do or they are doing the things that we do not expect expect them to do lord we are asking in the name of the lord jesus for grace to show them love like never before in the name of the lord jesus thank you father in the name of the lord jesus the lord wants me to believe you in prayers right now for parents who have spoken negative words out of annoyance out of disappointment out of pain you spoke negative words into the lives of your children and those words are hanging over their heads that's what i see i'm going to pray and i join my face with you this in this prayer session and say that every contrary word has been spoken because we were angry against our children we destroy those words right now in the name of the lord jesus Oh, it will not find fulfillment in their lives. No negative word that has been spoken against our children, either by us or even by other people. Father, every negative word has been spoken weak. We, we, we make you important right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will not find expression in the lives of our children. In the name of the Lord Jesus, and for every woman, every man who has spoken negative words to their children out of anger, out of annoyance, out of whatever, Lord, we ask for forgiveness for, for such parents right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. And we decree together tonight that no negative word we find expression in, that, in the life and destiny of our children. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, some words are already chatting curses for these children. But right now, we put a stop to it. In the name of Jesus. Put a stop to it. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory to Jesus. Words are powerful. Words are powerful. Words are containers. They carry power. Malembrosta keboshta higabasita. In the name of the Lord Jesus, every positive word, every word of prophecy, every word that is good, every declaration and proclamation for good and of good that you have released upon your children that have been hit out of hanging and not yet finding expression in their lives. I stand as God's mouthpiece during this prayer hour and I say they begin to find expression expression in the name of jesus the favors that you have spoken to your children's lives they begin to find expression the peace that you have spoken into your children's lives they begin to find expression the prosperity the health that you have spoken into your children's lives they begin to find expression the peace of mind divine settlement that you have spoken to your son's life that you have not seen coming to pass all these years by 
but the power of God in the Yanzu Tonkonste here, by the authority in the name of Jesus, I release your son to prosper. In the Greboshta Kabazeke Tembrostaha, Ke Prosoto Kokiriga Sata, Kalende Broshete Kebosota, Ikatuka Lem Roshada, that word that you have spoken, that your child will marry right, that word that you have spoken, that your daughter will settle in a home where she ought to settle, that at it I do not found expression. I stand in my office as mouthpiece of God, and I decree that those words begin to find expression. In the name of the Lord Jesus, it begins to happen now. 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 No more delays. In the name of Jesus. Lembra shukate kembo zota gande bronzo nda gaga zizizea kente koshoto ika sataha. I want you praying parents to begin to prophesy over your children. Begin to prophesy over your children that every dry bone begins to come alive in the name of Jesus. Everything that's been programmed into their destiny before they were born in the kasuta kabashanda ika te kembo sata. Everything that's been programmed into the families that is affecting the children all that is waiting for a set time to begin to affect the children i want you to speak forth as a prophet to your children tonight begin to say every dry bone i command you in the name of jesus receive life Malem prosota kabashende de bosata ha malin kan ze zenze prosta inda gayeke suta karabashende here ikazozo zo broken dan gelem prosto everything that spells dry bones in the lives of our children receive life now in the name of Jesus in prosoto toko kenden dem prosto here inda kem prosta gen zenze brokosta ha in kan tun tun pra kan tun tun pra Zanta kaka kolenda life. I speak 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 life. In the name of Jesus. Yem brosta hi kasata. Gandende mbroso toko katakuli brosta in your family because you are children in your family because you are praying for those children for your grandchildren because you are praying for your nieces you are praying for your nephews you are praying for that your neighbor's child who has become a matter of concern you are praying for that child in your church you are praying for that child in your school because of that child because of that child i speak to you right now i speak to your home right now in the name of the lord jesus that everything that represents dryness everything that represents dry bones i mean very dry bones receive life now in the name of jesus Life. Yem prosuta karabasuta. Lem proko shinda galika sita kata karabaha. Ketem prosto tori boshta. And I see the spirit of God flowing through the media waves. I see the spirit of God flowing into your homes. I see the spirit of God. I see His power moving. Lem proshi daga zize. Ketem prosta hi agatu. I even see healings taking place right now. Enda yakoso chokom prosha de here. Just because you are praying for a child, the Lord is visiting you right now. Enda ya proko sota linde de prosta. Receive the visitation of the Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus. Receive the touch that you need. Receive the touch that you need. Every dry bone is receiving life right now. In the Yakoroboste, in the Yagabasta, Jende Brosota, Karem Brosota. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In the Lembroste, Hikasita, Kembrosota, Kareboshta, in Zantem Brosta, Rigaba. This word is sent to the furthermost parts of the earth. And and it's causing revelation, it's causing relief, it's causing healing, it's causing deliverance in the crop of sota. By the reason of the anointing, every yoke right now is being destroyed. In the limbro sota de kemboshta, marita yoke is being destroyed. In the limbro soto koboshinda, barrenness is being destroyed. In the karumbro suza zabrogo shanda, delay 
days I've been denied, I've been destroyed in the Koriko Suta Kabashinda. In the, and I see somebody receiving speed. You are receiving, God is giving you speed. No more slow motion. No more slow motion in the Karibos to hear the hand of God was upon his prophet Elijah. And he outran chariots of King Ahab to the gates of Jezreel. I see the hand of God resting upon you in the Yamprosoto Tori Brakashanda, giving you speed beyond your imagination, giving you speed beyond your comprehension in the Prosota Kabaha. Zende Prosta Higa, Zende Pro, Zende de Brokosota Hibra, Kososo Sobo Shede, Kasuzuban Brokoshende Yaba. In the Lembro Gosata, you parents are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the town. You are blessed in the village. You are blessed in your place of work. The work of your hands is blessed. Imbroso Tongombo Rong Zika Taram Roshanda. Your finances are blessed. In the Crozondo Groboshda here. In the Lebroso Tolem Roshida. Oh, that due that thing you have been due for that has been waiting all long you've been waiting for it you've been due for it but you have been waiting the lord says to tell you no more waiting this is the time hallelujah thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus i see that the lord is just all out to bless us tonight let's just give him thanks and bless his holy name thank you father for what you've done for us and thank you for what you're doing for our children we bless your name father we thank you, Lord Jesus. The Lord in the midst of his people is mighty to deliver and to save. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Two more prayer points for our children and we'll be done for the day. Hallelujah. Bible talks about hearts of stone. Ezekiel 36, 26. That the hearts of stone be turned to hearts of flesh. And the Lord just gave me the understanding that some children have hard, they are hard-hearted. That's not the way he made them. An enemy did this. And it's, all, it's ultimately to destroy the children. But thank God you are praying. You know that child who is hard-hearted. Never listens to anybody. An enemy has done this. Call that child by name and say, Satan, I rebuke you over the life of this child. Call that child by name. Call that child by name. Malem Rosto Hebra Gaba Shende de Brosata. Kende Brosto to Hebro Koshida. Gende le brokosundumbra gazikata lende de brokosata. Call that child by name in the name of the Lord Jesus and say, I rebuke this spirit that makes you to be so, so strong willed. You are so set in your ways, and it is actually meant to destroy that child. But thank God you are praying. Thank God you are in the, in the prayer room tonight. Call that child or those children, mention their name and rebuke that contrary spirit. That foul spirit in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lembros to Hebragabashada. In fact, every unclean spirit that could have found its way into our children, it's time to begin to rebuke them. It's time, Bible says, submit yourself unto God. James 4 7, submit yourselves unto God. He said, resist the devil and you will flee. And in our territory, the devil must not have a few day. I want you to go ahead and begin to rebuke the devil, rebuke him, and cast out every unclean spirit that might have found its way into our children. Because the Bible says that he has given us power over every unclean spirit to do what? To cast them out. In the name of Jesus, every unclean spirit command you in the name of Jesus, 
come out in the name of Jesus. Every unclean spirit that found its way into our children's lives, call that child by name and say, every unclean spirit that found its way into you, I rebuke you right now, come out. You unclean spirit that found your way into my son, I rebuke right now, come out. You unclean spirit that found your way into my daughter, I rebuke right now, come out and enter him to disturb him no more. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Mare Prosheke Bosotakaba. Zinda Grobo Shenderebo Sata Karaba. Make sure that you are rebuking, casting out every unclean spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus. That child, that boy, that girl, your niece, your nephew, your grandchild, your child, your neighbor's child, that child in your class as a school teacher. That's you know, maybe maybe he or she just resumes school and you're like, what changed? This boy was not like this. This girl wasn't like this. What changed? An unclean spirit found its way in. You have the authority in Christ Jesus to cast it out. Go ahead and do that right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I begin to pray. I continue to pray and make power available. But I want you to mention that child by name and say, you unclean spirit that found your way into this child, Come out in the name of Jesus. You have been given the authority to do that. Lembraso takabash de him rosto hi bragaba. Zende de broko shida gazeke terebo shanda. Parents are exercising our authority over our clean spirits. Lembrosh de him bazizi. Boyende grebo shinta. On our own watch, on our watch, every child. Lembrosto koliga sutoko shta. That any unclean spirit found its way into right now. Come out in the name of Jesus. Lembroko so. Every unclean spirit that found its way into any of our children, I, I command you in the name of Jesus, come out. Come out now in the name of Jesus. Our children are free from oppression. They are free in the name of Jesus. For whosoever the Lord sets free, hallelujah, glory to Jesus. Whosoever the Lord sets free is free indeed. So our children are free in the name of Jesus. We declare their freedom in the name of Jesus. Our sons are free to serve the living God. Our daughters are free to serve the living God. Our grandchildren are free to serve the living God. God. Our children are free to serve the living God. They will not be afflicted. Every on every spirit of infirmity that's been that's that, that, that's trying to att attack them, we take pre we, we take preeminence. We take authority over you. We declare that our children are free in the name of Jesus. For whosoever the Lord set free is free indeed. Call your child by name. Call your grandchild by name. Call your nephews, your nieces by name and declare their freedom in the name of the Lord Jesus. We are delivered from every power of, of darkness. We are set free from every affliction of the evil one. Our children are free in the name of the Lord Jesus for whosoever the Lord set free. Whosoever the Lord set free. Whosoever the Lord set free is free. Free indeed. Our children are free to serve the living God. They are free to excel in life. They are free to live healthy in life. They are free to fulfill purpose in the name of Jesus. They are preserved. They are protected. They are provided for in the name of Jesus. They are free. Free, free indeed. Hallelujah. For though the devil came to steal, to kill, and to destroy, Jesus has come and he has given abundant life to our children. That is their portion. Speak it to your children. Release it to their lives. My son, blessed, you are free to serve the living God. My daughter, favored, you are free to serve the living God. You are free to excel in life. You are free to fulfill purpose in the name of Jesus, there is no holding you back. There is nothing holding you back. No spirit of infirmity can prosper over your life. No unclean spirits can have 
and can have a free course in your life. Eh? For you have been set free by the Lord Jesus. And whosoever the Lord Jesus sets free is free and free indeed. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Oh, thank you for liberation. Embrosto himbra zizi bragabahashte here. Kazeke tell embrosota. Our own children are exempted from evil. They are exempted from evil communication that corrupt good manners. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, the mark of the Lord is upon our children for good. Lembrosta himba zizi brosta ha. Our own children will hear correction. When we correct them, they will hear. In the name of the Lord Jesus, our own children, they have hearing ears. In the name of the Lord Jesus, they don't have hardened hearts. In the name of the Lord Jesus, they are receptive to the word of God. Even as we, we, we speak it to them, as we train them. In the name of the Lord Jesus, our own children, Bring glory and honor to God in this generation. In the name of the Lord Jesus. One more prayer point for the children tonight. Teach them, O oh God, to number their days and apply their hearts unto wisdom. Teach them, O oh God. Teach them by yourself, O oh God. The Bible says that our children shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be their peace. So we are asking, O oh God, according to your word, that you will teach our children so that they can, they can live, they can prepare their ways wisely before you. Teach them. Teach them. Teach them. Beyond how we can reach them, you can. Teach our children to number their days so they may apply their hearts unto wisdom in the name of the Lord Jesus. Teach our children, oh God. Teach them to number their days and apply their hearts unto wisdom from their childhood to adolescent to adulthood to when they become parents to even when they become grandparents also. Teach our children, our nephews, our nieces, our grandchildren, our stepchildren. Teach, O oh God, our children to number their days that they may apply their hearts unto wisdom. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Zakete Krozozu Bashindaka Ende Brosota Kapra Gaba Sikata Lembroshande Riaba. Thank you, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Shall we go ahead tonight and begin to thank God for answered prayers? This is the confidence we have in Him that when we pray according to His will, He hears us. And if He hears us, then we know we have the petition that we have asked of Him. Give Him praise tonight. Give Him praise tonight. Thank him for what he's done in your children's lives and in the lives of every child that you are praying for. Because we believe here that there is no such thing as other people's children. So go ahead and give God thanks. Go ahead and bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for our children. Thank you, Father, for helping us to parent them aright. Thank you, Lord, because you have chosen their inheritance for them and you see to it that they walk in that inheritance. Thank you because every wall of Jericho that has been placed on their path are fallen. We give you praise, O oh Father, we bless your holy name. Thank you for answered prayers. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. It's been a pure delight praying with you tonight in the upper room and um, it's our desire born of god that at least one hour every week children all over the globe get prayed for and i'm glad that you are part of this vision tonight please go ahead and share this video with other parents as many people as you know that love children please share this with them and god willing you join me again 
in the upper room next Monday, same time, as we continue to intercede for our children. God bless you and keep being strong. Amen. Hallelujah.